A sixth migrant child has died in U.S. custody. We're going to dig a little deeper. Here's what we know. It happened eight months ago. She's a 10-year-old girl from El Salvador, and she died in September. But her death was not previously reported. Omar Villafranca is at the Border Patrol Processing Center in McAllen, Texas, with a response from lawmakers. Omar. Yeah, good morning, Anne-Marie, and, and just to be clear here, the little girl who died in December did not die at this facility, but the head of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus is accusing the Trump administration of trying to cover up her death. The Department of Health and Human Services tells CBS News that in March 2018, a 10-year-old girl entered the care of the Office of Refugee Resettlement in San Antonio. They say she had a history of congenital heart defects and following a surgical procedure became comatose. Then, in September, at a hospital near family in Nebraska, she died due to fever and respiratory distress. The revelation comes just days after Carlos Hernandez died while in Border Patrol custody. The 16-year-old from Guatemala was diagnosed with the flu at the main Border Patrol processing facility in McAllen. Intake of migrants at that facility was temporarily suspended Tuesday after 32 people were diagnosed with the flu. We continue to face tragedies at the border, particularly with regard to the safety of children. On Capitol Hill Wednesday, Acting Secretary of Homeland Security Kevin McAleenan was confronted by Illinois Democrat Lauren Underwood about the situation at the border. At this point, with five kids that have died, 5,000 separated from their families, I feel like, and the evidence um, is really clear that this is intentional. It's intentional. It's a policy choice being made on purpose by this administration, and it's cruel and inhumane. That's an appalling Chairman, accusation, and our men and women fight hard to protect people in our custody every single day. This will not be the last death. There are going to be more. Catherine Hampton works for the advocacy group Physicians for Human Rights. She says these deaths are an inevitable consequence of a system that detains thousands of migrant children. The entire medical community have been warning that this is going to happen. What I'm most terrified of in this moment is that we're going to become so desensitized that these deaths don't mean anything anymore. So the thing about this case, Omar, is that's puzzling is that this child passed away in September. We're only learning now. Why is that? Well, interesting note is that government agencies like Border Patrol or HHS or ORR do not have to publicly report a child migrant's death. They just have to report it internally and to child welfare groups. So that could be one of the reasons why it took months for anyone to find out about it. And so you are outside of the McAllen Processing Center and you, you know, made it clear that that's not where this latest incident that we're talking about happened. But they're dealing with a flu outbreak there. What do we know about what's going on there? What's the latest? Border Patrol told us that uh, when it happened, of course, it happened a few days ago, they, they stopped taking intake uh, at night. And what they did is they brought crews in to basically wipe the place down, sanitize it. They were also reassessing everyone who was in there. There was 32 cases of people who were diagnosed with the flu. They quarantined them, did more assessment. People who needed treatment, they started treating them. And then late yesterday afternoon, they reopened the facility for processing and normal operations got back underway. All right. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Omar, thank you very much.